Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of Shy Boys Podcast. Hey, who we thought was going to be the savior, Russell Westbrook. Hey, he is not coming to Chicago, y'all. I'm going to talk about it. But y'all know y'all got to hit the music first. Cognac. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down on another episode of Shy Boys Podcast with me and my co-host, C-Dub. If you like what you're listening to, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. There's, hey, it's out there now, y'all. Russell Westbrook is not coming to save the Chicago Bulls. I said it early. when With the situation and the turmoil that the, the, that the Chicago Bulls are in, there is no way superstars well, or veterans that are in the buyout market looking for places to go will come to a team that's not even in playoff contention. Not even in playoff contention. So if it sounds good, it's something that I would have liked. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. But at the end of the day, we got to be real about what the hell the Chicago Bulls look like on, on tape on TV, on TNT, everything. The Bulls are in turmoil right now. They got bad coaching. They got players that act like they don't give a fuck. They got, they got things going on. There's no player development. They, they are in the 11th seed, bro. They are the 11th seed right now. And who wants to come and play for that? Who? You notice that when Kevin Love was bought out, he didn't look to he didn't look at the Chicago Bulls who probably could have used them. He spoke with the 76ers and then spoke with the Miami Heat and ultimately made the decision to go to the Heat. You know what I'm saying? These guys that are aging guys, stars, or once upon world stars, they want to contend for championships. They want to be in position to play meaningful basketball. Can we say the Chicago Bulls will be playing meaningful basketball in April? We don't know. They're on a six-game losing streak. They they got an I don't give a fuck attitude, and they playing like trash. They have blown double-digit leads about six times already during the season. So we can't, as a fan base, expect players. Ex- we can't, as a fan base, expect players to come here when the organization looks like trash, bro. The organization looks like trash. And I'm going to be surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. With the whole Russell Westbrook thing, I honestly thought that, look, it sound good. And I honestly thought that he was going to go elsewhere. I didn't think that he was going to go to the L.A. Clippers, but kudos to him. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? He get to go on a, a team that's in better playoff positioning than where he where he was in uh, with the Lakers. And, and he, he doesn't have to move his family out of L.A. He gets to remain there. All he got to do is come in and fill the void. And that's just really it. So kudos to him. Kudos to him. Kudos to Russell Westbrook for making a decision that was ultimately best for him and his family. But as Bulls fans, we got to be honest about this one here, man. We cannot. We cannot continue to think that players, bro, we, we can't think that we're going to have it all, bro. This season has been horrible, and it's going to continue to be horrible. Now, who do we look at? Who do, do we go after John Wall? I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. I don't, because regardless, John Wall doesn't have to play this season. He's still going to get his money. That's the buyout thing. He's still going to get his money. You know what I'm saying? Pat Bev, what is Pat Bev going to do for this team? Nothing. But add an uh, element that we don't have in being tough and being having a dog mentality. Maybe that will help us. I don't know. But fuck it. If it if it's gonna help us win a play in championship, I'm all for it, baby. I'm all for it. But at the end of the day, Chicago Bulls fans, we are uh, we ultimately got another slap in the face for this season. Another slap in the face for this season. Another AK and Mark Eversley failure on the season. Another one. Another one. Another Arturis Karnasovas and Mark Eversley failure on the season. 
Nothing at the trade deadline, nothing in the buyout market. Nobody wants to play for a shitty organization, guys. So for y'all to think that somebody was, that you had an opportunity to have any buyout candidate, you're crazy. You're crazy, and you're naive to what the hell the situation is. And it's kind of, look, it's kind of making sense to how the front office and Artie and Mark Eversley and then all the way down to Billy Donovan, y'all lack situational awareness. All three of y'all lack situational awareness. Y'all ain't did nothing. Ain't nobody coming to save us. Get over it. Y'all thought y'all had something in that buyout market? Oh, well, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. Now, where do we go from here? Do we move on to seeing more young guys playing? Carly Jones, Dalen Terry, Simonovich, Malcolm Hill. Because the players that are currently on this team, they're ass, and they don't want to play here, and they don't they, they continuously come out with the I don't care attitude. We That's unacceptable, bro. But at the end of the day, you still got a coach that gets out coached in just about every game. Some of the fault goes to him as well as the players. But it is what it is. Hey, we don't have the Messiah walking through the door, y'all. It is what it is. Russell Westbrook is not coming to Chicago. It is what it is. Y'all go ahead and let me know. Hit the comment box. Let me know your thoughts. Like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you want to be a part of the voicemail bag episodes, go ahead and say your voicemails in to the number right here below, 773-242-9219. This is another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. I'm Bobby. I'm out. Bro, catch y'all on the next one. Cognac, Cognac. Gang. Gang. Gang.